summit or plummet? Plummet? What is plummet? <laughs> ball or fall? A ball or fall. Oh yes. yes. That's cool. And with the first rays of light of the day, we make our way to El Craco Diablo, the crack of the devil. <laughs> Stand on and tables to stack the rope on. And the sun is just coming over the Bear Lodge Mountains. Yeah. But look up, ahead of us lays the crack of doom. Complete with the no reverse traverse. Goodbye now. I will see you on the ground one way or the other. There's a knot here for me to take. How often have you been here? I have been here since 1972 and I've been to the top of the tower about 2,000 times. Wow. I write down my ascents, it's just that I don't count them every night right before bed. <laughs> so you need Excel or some software to count it? Well, I'd have to get a computer to run that Right, now. yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of a pencil and staplers kind of guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not a face climber of technology, just a crack jammer. Uh, crack jammer. That's it. Uh, yeah. Look, and your hands can be beautiful like this too. Try the Devil's Tower exfoliation treatment on your skin. Get rid of all that rough dry skin and put some fresh dry skin on. <laughs> okay, I try. <laughs> and you did really well, Helmet. You did really well. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Coming from a country with no cracks to jam, I think you're a champ. <laughs> most excellent. Thank Absolutely you. most excellent, sir. And here's a panorama of Wyoming as we know it. Our state has less than half a million people. Our county has less than 5,000 people. And there are only 44 people in our zip code. You remember that famous film, The uh, Close Encounter of the Third Kind? I think uh, it was Close Encounters of the Strange Kind. Strange Kind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are there any more uh, aliens here in the last time? Well, they're a little camera shy helmet. So oh. if you put that away and we play our cards right, I bet you we can get a ride on the mothership. Oh, great. <laughs> Are you ready to repel, partner? Yes, I am. Well, here we go, and I'll see you on the ground one way or the other. Okay, go down.
Very nice. That's kind of California dreaming, you know, some variations. Two years ago, an American television crew came through the area, and I was enticed to play piano at the uh, campground right outside the front park gate. The interviewer asked me many questions. What tunes do you play when you're alone and no one's listening? Like... Or, Frank, if you climbed to the top of the tower one more time and found a baby grand piano up on top, what would you play then? Or if you were asked to entertain the troops at Christmas, what would you play there? Um, can you play a song that makes you feel like Wyoming makes you feel? But his last question, and it's a good one, and I hope that you ask yourself this question. And he posed it to me in this way, saying, 20, 30, 40 years from now, Frank, you're dead. But you get to come back for one day to play one song at your own funeral. What would it be? Well, the cameras were rolling, and I, thankfully, it was giving me exactly what to play. And it's this tune. 